Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's ASCII here taking a look at 10 H1Z1 crafting recipes that you need to know. In no particular order, here we go. To kick us off we have the improvised compass. This lets you know which direction you're facing and means you're a lot less likely to get lost while travelling through the woods. At number 9 we have the makeshift bow and arrows. This is likely to be your very first weapon in the game as you can make it by simply shredding your shirt into cloth and combining it with a stick. This bow will let you drop zombies quietly and hunt yourself some yummy deer. The satchel comes in at number 8. This item is super important early on as without it your carrying capacity is pretty limited. And coming in alongside the satchel at number 7 is the backpack frame which lets you turn your satchel into a fully fledged backpack. You're going to need 4 nails to make this which come from scrap metal salvaged from wrecked vehicles as well as a few sticks. Blackberry juice is another fantastic item and takes spot number 6. Combining purified water and blackberries this item lets you save bag space and gives some fantastic thirst recovery as well as some hunger. Cheap and easy to make there is no reason not to make this your drink of choice. In at number 5 is the torch. Seeing in the dark, starting fires, lighting furnaces and burning zombies, what more could you want out of a single item? Animal traps can be useful once you begin to establish yourself a base to work out of as they can provide you with some food each time you log in. But be aware that other players will raid them while you're away, so try to hide them somewhere safe. Next we have the first aid kits. They are a great way to recover your lost health and pretty simple to make. You're just going to need some bandages which come from scraps of cloth as well as some saline which comes from purified water and salt. Now you can patch yourself up after last night's gunfight. There is nothing worse than being a hoarder and having nowhere to keep your stuff. With our next recipe you can dig yourself a little stash underground, just be sure to hide it well. The hand shuffle requires a metal shard which you can get by putting scrap metal into a furnace. Last on the list is Swizzle. While I would never condone drug use, sometimes you just need to get from Cranberry to Pleasant Valley a little bit quicker and these green crystals will give you the boost you need. If you want to find out even more recipes why not head on over to the official H1Z1 wiki at h1z1.gamepedia.com which has all the latest information and gets updated as the game does. Have you got any other useful recipes? Share them in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe. For now though, I've been ASCII and thank you for watching.